Hello, I'm Chris, this is Gross Models, and this is issue number 55 of Build Your Own X-Ring from Divasini. Uh, parts, little tiny, teeny parts. When you're taking the trays apart, make sure the little bits like this don't get stuck statically to the top part, so you know where they are. I'm going to leave them in the tray, because otherwise there's a chance of loss, which is never a good thing. Uh, right, we're talking about shooting The Force Awakens, obviously the Crash TIE Fighter that we did a little bit of last time. Uh, blue screens, obviously. I thought it's very interesting to see blue screens again, because it all went to green screen. But obviously it all depends on what's in shot and what's reflects and things, so yeah. Uh, Porkins, you have in Hero, I don't know, he did much really, he just got in the way a bit. But there we go. Uh, attitude control. Okay, not aerodynamic services. We knew that already. Uh, right, the upper portal. I don't want to fold over the bottom of the page like that. That's just a little bit creased up. Let's open that up. Unfold that. Fold it back down. There we go. Sorted. Right. The upper port engine. Right, we have the collection of bits, which I'm not going to get out individually, or all of those, and, and that bit. And we've got the two big pieces there. Uh, we're not actually using any of the parts that we've built so far this time around. Um, but I'm keeping them there because at the end we'll we'll see what we've done in this month. Uh, so I can't put my magazine where I want to put it now. I do need to figure out some way of holding that, but we'll we'll get there. Uh, right, we're taking the parts from previous. I'll get that one out. So I'm going to be using that anyway next. I can't get it out. There we go. Right. There we go. Uh, right, we're taking the uh, inner part of the uh, curve of the mounting. It has two pins that fit into matching holes on the collar. That bit that you can't see because I've got my hand all over it. There's two little pins on there, which go into the two little holes on there when you get it the correct way around. So that lines up in there. Just like that. It should be just like that. Why is it not? I think I'm not quite in the right place. That's the trouble with trying to do things for cameras rather than doing them for myself. The best angle for me is often not the best angle for you. There we go. That's that on there. Good to go. Uh, and then um, we're putting that aside now. We're putting that inside here. That way round. Just like that. We've got the two posts and the two holes. Posts and holes go together. And that is now in there. Great, that's the inside. That's all we're doing for that. Let's get the same way around as the picture. Looks like that. And then we're going to do the outside bit. Now, the outside bit is the fun, you know, I'll put the, the big picture in picture up of the entire page. And then I'll, I'll, I'll put it here so you can see it. And then I'll make it smaller. So you can still see it, but it's not quite all over the place. Uh, right, what I'm going to do is... Get all of these out now. Make sure there's none still in there. Get rid of that. And then let's try and get these in the same order that they're on on the page there. Uh, H. What's that one? That's that one at the top. That's B. That's A. Uh, that one has got to be G. Then we've got these three that are going to be a little bit confusing. Right, we've got the one with two posts, one with three posts, and the one with four posts. So that's all the parts required for this, and that's where they're going to go. So it says put A on first, up the top there, like that. Can't go wrong with that. Well, I mean, you could. You could get it pointing in the wrong direction, but no. So that's A. B then goes underneath it. Like that. See, I like the way that we're working in, in the right order. I'm sure, that won't, won't follow through and won't continue. There's C in there. Uh, D goes the other side. Just like that. Now, remember, of course, that these holes don't go straight that way they go straight 
that way they always go toward if you put that down you're always going downwards you're not going into the middle of the tube so it's probably easier to build it having it flat and then working across it like that uh e <coughs> here now this is where it gets tricky you've got to figure out exactly where that goes in relation to all the other holes it looks like it goes into that one and that means that will go into that one and this one obviously is the exception this one does go that way like that okay f next one's down uh making sure you get it the correct way round actually it'll only fit in one way round because of the previous part getting in the way that's going to go there and there is it or there and there which one what it's those two and it's the other other way round so it has to go that way around to meet up with that tube there. There we go, push that in. Uh, G is the funny shaped one, which goes into all the other holes next to around that. There we go. Uh, H is the little U-shaped piece, which I'm going to get a pair of tweezers to put that in place. Because that's small enough that can't grip it and push it at the same time so i'm just going to hold that that way around get those lined up with the holes and then that can push in there we go that's that and finally the big the big one it's got to go there because that's all the holes that i've got left <clears throat> so let's get that in there those around that side and these are actually already a little bit squished out of shape so it's going to take a little bit of twisting to get those where they should be get those ones in start of that one and get that in there and then get that one twisted around into there come on you will go in you know you want to even if you don't want to, you're going to, because that's where you live. There you go. Oh, actually, that's cracked. That's broken. That obviously got twisted a little bit too much, and has broken off. So, let's get it in and see if everything lines up well enough, or if it's going to take a little bit of glue. Actually, I think... We'll get away with that because that lines up as if it's not broken when it's all together so saved just by fitting quite well uh so that's that all in place uh and that is indeed this stage except that's not in it is in just not not fully in uh that's that so we've got the inside of that and the outside of that um finishing off Looking at the engine from a, another, yet another angle. Uh, picture on the back is the TIE Fighter Pilot. Cool. Uh, right, so let's have a look. What we've got this month so far, we've got all of this. This is quite quite impressive. Uh, that is going to go under there, like that. This is obviously the top wing, because it hasn't got the, the uh, landing gear bit. So that's going to go there, and this is inside there somehow somewhere is it inside that bit or is it inside the other bit i don't remember i think it's inside the top piece here but yes there we go that's what we have so far the wing is getting there uh that was issue 55 which was the last one that i've received now so we've got to wait around another four or five weeks for the next five issues but it's done um you know i'll, I'll put this away uh with the rest of it and uh yeah hopefully we'll soon start to well once we finish the wing it's all got to start coming together and it that's the plan and then it starts getting huge and i'm gonna have to zoom out the camera and stuff so thank you so much for watching like and subscribe obviously as ever and leave a comment to let me know you know how the build's going if you if i've done anything wrong if you think something could be better uh if you've got any ideas for the upgrades and modifications um this obviously is painted and to a degree with it i'm going to be improving the weathering but not doing a full repaint of it um but yeah
do let me know what you're thinking of the build so far and i shall see you soon for more of other things before this comes back but keep an eye on the channel thanks for watching bye bye for now